What's up guys? Puddin and Josh Sizzle here from Josh Sizzle Offshore. It's nighttime after sunset. We've been on the water, sunrise to sunset, checking out new Google spots, and we're also trying to get some tarpon. Tar we jumped a bunch of tarpon. Stay tuned until the end of the video to see if Darcy is successful. Can we go fishing, Josh Sizzle? Good morning, Dark Sizzle Nation. I'm using my quiet inside voice. We have been up since like five o'clock this morning. Needed to get out here to chase tarpon first thing, first light this morning. So we already got bait, we're loaded up. I just saw another tarpon roll. We are in the good, we are in the area. So it's only a matter of time till we get a tarpon bite this morning. I'm crossing my fingers, we'll see what happens. And also today, we're gonna to be showing you guys some spots uh, using Google and how to use Google to find some fishing spots. So uh, we're gonna hit some of our regular spots and some new spots, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, searching for new stuff. All right, guys, no tarpon yet. Darcy's pretty hard, die hard. Every time we go to leave, she thinks she gets a bite. And uh, I don't know, maybe she does, but you know, tarpon's a tough fish. And if you're going to be fishing for them, you know, you're going to expect to get a lot of disappointment uh, before you get them dialed in. But uh, we're going to move on to some spots on Google. And uh, like I mentioned before, now Google is a great tool, as you can see here, you know, to just check your waterways and the new spots, especially. Oh, I just heard a fish. Uh, when you go to new locations, you know, you can check for corners and uh, holes and where, where the current's gonna whip around. And you can see some of those spots, you know, on this map here. Now I'm gonna, also you can see bridges. You know, sometimes when you're driving your boat, you don't see all, all the landscape and there's canals and little bridges. So let's go check out one of these bridges right now. Bridges are good for fishing not only because of all the structure that actually holds up the bridge that's in the water because fish like to hang out around that but also it creates a choke point when the current is ripping and that way all the bait fish get pushed into a narrow area and then that's where the predator fish would be to attack them and eat them so we just went through this bridge we've never been here before and we saw a bunch of mullet jumping on the other side it looks like there's a giant flat with thousands of mullet hanging out. So this would be a good area to fish, especially when you hear fish popping and blowing up and bait going crazy. The bridges are awesome. This bridge spot just turned out to really be a bait spot for us today and uh, darted through the net and what we really found out is the bottom is really muddy. So we probably don't want to throw a net in there too much more, but you know, that's all part of water time too. All right, on to, on to the next Google spot. And I was looking at the map and you know, we're always looking for choke points and narrow alleys for fish and bait to go through just like Darcy said about Bridget, but this is a natural point over here, it looks like. And now uh, we come over here and you can actually see there's a sandbar with a point sticking out, which is really great news. And there's even a bird here. So the bird is looking for bait and the birds know the spots better than we do. So this is a really good indicator for us. And there's actually a lot of bait here too. So, you know, again, no predator fish here, but if you find the bait, I mean, the predator fish are gonna be there today or the next time you come. So another great spot. Darcy might be able to get some bait here, uh, some fingers too. Check it out guys, look what I just caught in my eight foot cast net, just caught a whole bunch of mullet, but we got a needlefish as a bycatch in there. He's going home. Then we got a checkered puffer fish. And if you guys remember that video, we just did a catch and cook with the checkered puffer fish. That's actually a little one, but you can see he's blowing up right now. Checkered puffer fish going home. And then last but not least, this is something really interesting. This is like a, some type of sea slug. I'm not exactly sure what, but watch it. It's alive and it's moving. Hook it. I'm scared. Hook it. Oh, well, I'll flip it over upside down. You can see how it's a slug. See? Look at that. Crazy looking. Cool. All right, so he's going home too. So three different species on top of the, all the mullet we just caught. Pretty cool, you never know what you're gonna expect to see. And I have no idea what all that gross purple stuff is on the ground here, ew. The next spot we have come to, which is directly behind me, is Snook Islands. And Snook Islands was actually built a few years ago. And it's, it has a, it's a really great area that has a natural boardwalk around it and also has kayak launch sites that you can get in there with your kayak. And we've known about this place. I've actually fished this place before, but it's really great to use Google Maps to your advantage, even if you've been to a place before, because there's a lot of different nooks and crannies and different islands that I didn't even know about from the outside, like 
from with the big boat we're always away from the islands but if you can get on the google maps you can actually really look inside there and see what's around this side and whatnot but also it's great to fish when there's current you got to pay attention to the current current's very important right now there's zero current here we are not going to fish and waste our time doing that we're going to wait a little bit longer wait for that current to get moving and then i'll start pitching mullet up on these seawalls here and around um, corners where air where basically where predators will be sitting waiting for bait fish to come up just decided to throw a mullet on the corner here in snook islands even though there's no current but i did see some bait and we ended i threw a mullet out and then we just threw out a yuzuri minnow the snook love it and the mangrove snapper love it too check it out it's in the amazon store if you're interested um, but all the products that I like to use, including this particular lure in this color, is the best Yuzuri 3DB minnow and the green top orange belly. So let's get the uh, pliers and let this mangrove snapper go. Nice touches. Yeah, we were just filming that for you guys, shooting that little segment. And I saw a couple mullet jump on this corner and we threw a couple baits and, you know, there you oh go. So that, that's what all it that? takes, guys. It's a cuda. <laughs> so, so much for the, what, is this bait out? Yeah. Where? Okay. Woo! That was crazy. I don't want to lose that lure. No, 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 no. Watch out. Barracuda coming in. Oh. Hey, come on. <laughs> you know, you tell the barracuda. All right. I got to put well, my self so science much, shoes on. So much for no current area. Just threw that lure again on that point. Just hooked up to this nice cuda. See guys, this is why you just gotta come out and go fishing. You never know what's going to happen. I honestly didn't even think we were gonna catch any fish here with the no current situation at the moment. And we were planning to come back. But you just saw, we just caught a lot of fish on this lure. And this lure catches multiple species of fish. You just saw a mangrove snapper, a barracuda, a snook, a jack. Well, we didn't get a snook today, but in the past. But we were just using lures, that's not even live bait. So you just gotta get out here and throw different stuff, try different things, and you will catch fish. Long 8.5 bubble blade pliers to get the tr do the trick, especially on teethy critters like this cuda. That way your hands are gonna go nowhere near his face. today and that was actually on the live mullet check it out three out mustad circle hook right in the corner of the mouth that was pretty stuck in there so that fish wasn't really going anywhere but pretty cool i just had tossed the mullet up on the seawall right here so close and right on the seawall in the shadow line this snook was sitting in there hanging out chilling and just blew up that bait that was really cool relax relax i can tell when these fish are about to go crazy and try to jump but beautiful snook, check it out. First time gonna use the Sea Deck ruler and also he matches the Sea Deck imprinted snook. Pretty sweet. Let's see how big he is. On the zero, this fish is just over the 26 inch mark. So that is not a slot fish. But that just goes to show you that these Google Maps really does work. And if you just find those seawalls and pitch mullet over on the, or whatever, live bait or anything on the seawall, there are fish sitting there, guaranteed. Okay, that was a really cool release. Just shook out of my hands and it swam right away. Let's get another bait in the water and catch some more good fish. It's a great day. Great job, Dust Dizzle. We found this little spot on this corner by just going a little bit past those Snook Islands. You can see them, they're right over here in this little clip I made for you. And then she was thrown on the sunny side of this wall. And then, you know, you always want to throw in the shady part, especially during the day. So then she threw it around the onto the shady part there and she hooked up right away. And then, you know, she was just doing great. So that's the, that's the tips, catch the fish. Oh, oh, we got him, we got him. No, he didn't get him. We got him off the hook. Let's try this again. Oh, 
I don't know what's going on. That's a fish. So I'm letting it honestly run with it right now, just for a second. I'm gonna close this bale here in a minute. Here we go. Circle hook, do your job. Did you guys see that bait pop? <laughs> you guys see that bait pop out of that fish's mouth? <laughs> just, All right, All right. let part. I think we need the mast to get to work here. Sizzle, you still fishing? I can't believe we're still fishing, but yes. You can't catch them without bait. In the I'm sorry, there's a dog. He's in the video. Anyway, Tom, sunrise, the sunset. Trying to catch Tarpon. Trying to catch these Tarpon. We've been out here for three tides. Sunrises, sunsets. All kinds of meals, which I missed. It's good for you. <laughs> she just called me fat, I think. <laughs> She's not denying it. <laughs>